are going to have an update in Toilet Tower Defense. So you can see right here, there's a timer for 20 hours. And yes, we are finally going to have an update. So pretty much an episode came out nine days ago. Now, what have we been doing in those nine days? So of those nine days, the new episode stuff only took like two or three days. But we have been focusing on some other pretty big things. So there are some big changes that I've been wanting to add for a while. And I'm glad we had the time to do it. Before I get any farther into the video, like and subscribe because if you don't, I'm gonna like make this fall over or something. <laughs> like, why does it do that? Like, you gotta like and subscribe after that one. I will send you to Jesus. Anyways, okay, so the big things we're adding in this update, number one, one thing I really want to mention is endless mode is finally going to be fixed. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I've been saying for a really long time that Evan needs to fix it, and he has finally fixed it. So pretty much, I don't know like what happened, but Evan is going crazy. Like he is fixing a lot of things. I've been asking him to fix it for a while. Maybe he got possessed by like the Titan cameraman or something like I don't even know but anyways he is finally fixing how on endless mode you could just leave and then the toilet health spawns lower and then you rejoin and it goes higher now we added that for normal modes in the beginning of the game just so that if someone leaves the game the health is lower and it's a little easier just because like a lot of people are random queuing at that time now people have been abusing that a lot in endless mode so if you have a trio and two other people leave then the health is literally one third and then they rejoin and their units are back and I'm stuck behind here. I'm gonna reset. But anyways, people could leave and then stuff would be like one third the health and then both the people could rejoin and then boom. They have all the units, all the toilets that spawned are at one third the health and you could just do that again and again. I know it would be annoying because you'd have to do that for like a hundred waves, but a lot of people were doing things like that, usually in a duo, sometimes in a trio. And because of people abusing that glitch, well, it's not really a glitch, it was more like a feature, but anyways, people were abusing it and it made it so people could could get way higher than they were supposed to and I guarantee everyone at the top of the leaderboard maybe even people down to like I don't even know how high but most people on the leaderboard are doing weird stuff like that now that's not how endless mode is supposed to be played so we're actually just gonna remove that entirely from endless mode and also another thing people were doing when someone leaves their units disappear so people were placing units where the other person's units disappeared and then when that person rejoins the units are standing inside of each other so pretty much people are able to stack units up in the same area and that means that not only can you have the best angles with multiple units but people were also able to just place one booster unit and then have multiple units in the same area and then boom so yeah that's way too overpowered we also made it in this update that is coming tomorrow where in endless mode you can't do that either so a lot of big abusable things in endless mode are getting fixed this update that is really 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 good i've been asking him to do this for a while and now it is finally done so endless mode is going to be a lot better i wonder what the newest highest waves are going to be without people able to use glitches there are also like some bots on the endless leaderboard so and he's been investigating that and banning the bots but even when they get banned they don't get wiped off the leaderboard because that is something that needs to be scripted and evan is actually scripting that right now so since he's already scripting it right now that that's either going to be in this update or the one after this update, but that will mean that we can wipe bots off the leaderboard and we can also wipe bots off of the wins leaderboard because there are a lot of bots on the wins leaderboard. Like you can see right here, QWE, whatever. And then if we scroll down a little more, there are these things, AA clone, some other weird things. I think toilet F coin is finally off the leaderboard, but yeah, Evan's gonna make it so that when you ban someone, they're wiped off the leaderboard. And we're also gonna add normal wipe commands on the side just to wipe normal like people with a ton of alts on the leaderboard because a lot of people have been bringing that up and meanwhile like it isn't breaking any rules but they don't deserve to be banned just for making alts and playing but at the same time like just because someone found a strategy doesn't mean they deserve to get like 10 different drillmen like the leaderboard is supposed to be for the top 100 people not like
like the top 10 people that just make a ton of alts and then play on their alts and then get them on the leaderboard. So that's going to fix that too. And also whenever we add endless ranks, which is probably going to be the update after this one, endless ranks, it's going to be like a level system and that is going to make it a lot harder to get alts on the leaderboard too. So a lot of big stuff is coming soon to endless. A bit of big stuff is coming in this update to endless. And there are some other really big things like the episode 72 update is of course going to include the episode 72 unit. Now April Fools is actually coming up. It's literally right around the corner. So there are some other things I want to mention for that. But I want to show you guys the new units first. So there is the upgraded camera spider. Where is his damage on? <laughs> Where is his damage though? Like for real. I don't know what Evan did with that one. But anyways, there's also the upgraded mech cameraman. So both of these new units are pretty cool. One of them is exclusive. One is a mythic. So the mythic can be summoned in the shop. And there's something really big for the shop that we're also adding this update. Which I will also tell you guys after I show you guys these units. So I'm going to give myself a lot of money just like a politician and then I will put the upgraded mech cameraman right here. But look, he has an idle animation with his arms and legs moving. Like our new animator is really cooking with these animations. And of course, if we upgrade him, he gets a little bit more power on his legs so he gets a little more range and then we upgrade him again. And as we upgrade him, he also gets those blades on his arms. You can see right there, they're kind of small but those allow him to do more damage. I don't know why they are that small, but anyways. He also gets those lasers, and now he has two red lasers, and he can punch with two arms. We upgrade him again, and he gets that scythe. That is really cool looking. So, the upgraded mech cameraman is really cool. He has a lot of range with his red lasers. I don't know why Evan always makes the circles red. He always makes the circles red. Like, I said that last video. I'm saying in this video, I'm gonna make it not red real quick. I made it not red okay so now upgraded camera spider this guy is really really cool why, why, why does he have those particles on they're not supposed to be on i told evan to fix it and he is fixing it because also the jetpack is not supposed to be always on only supposed to be when the upgraded camera spider is moving but um yeah those those particles he's supposed to shoot and they're not always supposed to be on so yeah that's gonna be fixed whenever we update there are a lot of stats on him like explosion radius walk range walk speed like we're also probably gonna change that to not show the explosion radius because I mean it, it is the same that's like just whenever you max him out he's supposed to get that middle thing to attack and then yeah I don't know I don't know why he's like this right now that's why I'm doing a video on it right now that is why I'm testing it right now to let Evan know what he needs to fix but these are some pretty cool new units and this camera spider actually has a pretty good amount of range like if we put him right here on endless mode boom he can walk pretty much through the entire map. Walk range is only 50. I feel like I should up that to like 60 because he is the upgraded version of the camera spider and if I spawn the camera spider then the normal camera spider when you max him out his walk range is also 50. So yeah I'm gonna upgrade that to 60 real quick. I feel like he deserves it because he is upgraded and he has a jetpack. I still have a list of a lot of other bugs but it's good that Evan fixed the main ones this update. Anyways another really big thing we're going to add is the April Fool's event and the April Fool's event is actually going to be a couple days after this update. It's gonna have its own mode called Ohio mode and I think you guys are gonna like it. I mean, to be honest, we already have the models. We already have everything done, but we only have like two days to script it and to balance everything and to make the mode and, and to do all that. So, um, I mean, it's gonna be interesting. I think you guys might like it. We'll see. We'll see how you guys, like what you guys think about it. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty much everything for this update and for the video. There are a lot more things in this update, but I'm going to keep them a secret for now. I want to leave a little bit of secrets in this update. But all I'm going to say is, okay, so out of the nine days since the episode came out, maybe three of the days were spent making this stuff for the new episode. Three of the days were spent, actually, nah, maybe two of the days were spent fixing those endless mode things. And then the last four days were spent on other things that are going to remain as a secret. And and one of them is something that a lot of people have been asking for a really long time. We also have a few more maps remade, so if you guys remember how this last update, we remade a few of the maps, like the Lobby, Cameraman HQ, Desert, and Endless Mode. Well, now this update, this update, we're gonna have a new Palm Paradise, we're gonna have a new Toilet City, and we are going to have a new Toilet Lab. So pretty much all of the maps are remade to be really high quality now, and we're also gonna have a new new remade 
big trading plaza. So the trading plaza is also going to be even higher quality. So we're slowly improving the quality of the game one update at a time. I want it to be good. In the beginning, it was just like some weird base plate that had some, <laughs> like, I don't know. If you guys can watch my old videos if you don't know what I'm talking about. But we had, like, just a base plate with some really low quality buildings with just a texture. And now look at where we are. So this game has come a long way. I want to continue making it even better. But as always, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.